Hello and welcome to episode 3 of the Ursina Engine tutorial series. The first thing we'll be doing in this episode is cleaning this up just a bit. So I'm going to teach you how to do what's called defining a function. Now uh, you've already done it with this, with def update, but that is a predefined function that comes with Ursina Engine. We'll be making our own custom one. So if we go down here, def, let's call it green cube. Now this is not included in the Ursina Engine, this is just a default function. And right now it's completely empty because, well, unlike update, there's nothing to tell it what to do. So let's just take this and I'll control X to cut it out of there and paste it down here. Now we have this function and it does something, but we need to call it an update or it won't actually run. So green cube, and that's all you have to do to call a function is type its name and the parentheses. So if I execute that, that's exactly the same as last time, except now the actual code is a bit cleaner. Now for this next part, def camera control, I'll be teaching you how to move the camera around. So the camera is the same as any other entity, like entity or text, and has a lot of the same attributes. So X, Y, scale, color. It has some custom stuff like FOV, but for this, we're just gonna worry about moving it on the X and Z axis. So left and right and forward and back and maybe up and down too. So if we're gonna move it forward, we need camera.z plus equals held keys w. Now that by itself will work. So if I reload, uh, actually I forgot to call the thing. Forgot to call it. Okay, so now if I reload, I zoom forward at top speed. That's not ideal, so let's times time dot dt. Save that, then reload. And now I move at a glacial pace. Now, I don't want to move as fast as before, but I also don't want to move as slow as this. So we'll do uh, times 10 times time dot dt. And this works because this is just either a zero or a one. So zero times 10 would still be zero and one times 10 would be 10. So we're setting the speed to 10 and then making it delta time. So now we move much more manageably, but we can only move forward. So let's take this and do the same down here, except make it minus equals and S. So now if I refresh, forward and backward work just fine. And we still have our green cube. We can even move while the cube is green, but that takes some uh, finger magic. And now we do this again for the X axis and we do X and if it's plus it's D and minus is A. That works. Oh, what the? I forgot to change that to an X, didn't I? I did indeed forget to change that to an X. Okay, so left, right, forward, backward. Yeah, okay. And now we just have to worry about up and down. So let's do camera dot Y uh, plus equals hell keys. Let's use E times 10. I really should have just copy and pasted this again. Times time dot et. And now if I press E, yeah, I go up, but I can't go back down. So one last thing. Camera dot y minus equals held keys q. So now I can go left, right, forwards, backwards, down, and up. And there's one last thing to mention, and that's that we have 10 typed here about six times. And if I wanted to change that to something like 15 or five, I'd have to go through and change each and every one of these every time I wanted to change it. But if we change it to, if we go up here at, what is this doing up here? 
That's not till way later. Yeah, uh, and we set, uh, I guess I forgot to slate some stuff from the first time. Set SPD for speed equal to 10. Then we can take this and change all of these to SPD. And now it runs the same. But if you want to change the speed, you just go up here and change it to 5. And now all of these just change from 10 to 5. So instead of having to type that, say, 6 times in a row, now you only have to type it once. I like it at 10, though, so let's put it back to 10. But yeah, now we can control our camera, and our code is a little cleaner looking. Uh, that's all for this episode. Uh, stay tuned if you want to learn more.